Hi, I'm Janine Bermania, the Senior Director of IP Management and Licensing at WARF. And I'm Stephanie Whitehorse, Director of Intellectual Property for the Physical Sciences at WARF. We are pleased to nominate Professor Kerry Forrest and his team for this year's WARF Innovation Awards. Their system for generating fusion neutrons could make a significant impact in the production of medical imaging isotopes. It could also play a role in solving the critical challenge of nuclear waste remediation. Congratulations, Professor Forrest. We are excited to partner with you and your team on this cutting edge fusion technology. I'm Kerry Forrest. I'm a professor in the physics department. So in recent years, it's become clear that um, neutrons are extremely valuable both for, um, both for industrial purposes and academic uh, purposes. And making neutrons is hard. Um, normally, we would use nuclear power plants and reactors to produce neutrons, uh, but it would be great if we had smaller, more compact sources that could be moved around and um, were easier and cheaper to build. So we've invented a technique for making neutrons uh, with small compact devices uh, using an old uh, idea, which is a magnetic mirror plasma trap to, um, to confine the, um, the fuel um, for nuclear fusion that makes neutrons. Yeah, so neutrons are, um, are useful for, for many, many things. Um, currently in Wisconsin, neutrons are being used to make medical isotopes. Um, the, um, there's an isotope of molybdenum, molybdenum 99, which is used in medical imaging. Neutrons are also could be used to burn up nuclear waste from, um, from fission reactors. So fission reactors produce waste. Uh, if we can make neutrons that have the right energy um, and enough of them, we could irradiate the waste um, that comes from um, nuclear reactors and um, incinerate it, make it go away so that it can be buried safely without a long-lived um, long effects. Um, we also hope to be able to use the same technology to actually build a nuclear fusion power reactor to make power. We've done the numerical modeling and theoretical modeling to show that it would work on paper. And currently we're building a prototype of um, the reactor that will be used to demonstrate that the technology actually works.